Hey guys, it's Rachel here and today I'm going to be filming my March wrap up. Now this, I can honestly say, has been one of the worst reading months that I have ever had for many reasons. It was my birthday month. I was so excited for my birthday that I did not read very much. I started and I got into a little bit of a reading slump. I started to read some books and then I changed my mind. I didn't want to read them anymore and then a whole bunch of bleh. So today I'm just going to be showing you guys the books that I did manage to get through and some of the books that I did start. Now the first book that I read this month was for my March read along which was The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. I read this with several different booktubers and I noticed that actually uh, several different booktubers didn't actually finish it. I guess that we all kind of had a reading slump going on and we all I guess had a little bit of issues with the book. Pretty much this book follows the story of a boy named Todd and Todd lives in a town where everybody can hear each other's thoughts and there are only men. Todd kind of goes throughout his you know days imagining this is normal until one day he goes into the swamp with his dog Manchi and hears nothing a spot with no noise. Obviously this is not good and then shit goes down. I did not enjoy this book up until a very major event happens in this book. Todd to me was very obnoxious, very stubborn. He kept doing bad things over and over again and it was very very frustrating but when a major event in this book happens he grows up like really really quickly and I can say that I cried when the major event happens. If you guys would like a more in-depth review of this book please let me know. Um, I know that it's a very, very popular book on uh, YouTube, so you probably already know everything about it. But for those of you who maybe have not read it and want a more in-depth review on it, please let me know. But overall, I gave the book four stars. The next little novella that I read this month was New World by Patrick Ness. Now, um, New World is the novella that comes before um, the Chaos Walking trilogy, and it follows the story of Viola. It is not very long, and it is actually free on your Kindle, so if you have a Kindle or some type of e-reader, um, New World is available on it. It was okay. Um, I didn't... I like Viola as a character. I like um, how strong she is, but like Todd in the Chaos Walking trilogy, she was very stubborn at certain points. Um, but overall, I gave it about a 3.5 stars. It was okay, um, but yes. After that, I started reading more than one book. I am still continuing to read The Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson. I am really, really enjoying it so far, but I think right now I'm kind of looking for lighter reads because I have hit the type of reading slump. I also started The Sea of Tranquility, and I am actually really enjoying that one, although that one is a very serious type book, but I'm really enjoying it, and I'm hoping to get it finished here pretty soon. I have also started reading Half Bad by Sally Green with Riley from Riley Marie 1196. I know I talk about her in every single video, but I love her to death. Like, I seriously do. In fact, like, I'm going to leave her linked in the down bar. If you have not subscribed to her and you don't know who she is, then you are living under a rock. I love, love Riley. She is amazing. And she actually got me this book for my birthday. And she got a copy for herself. And so we are reading this book together. I am currently about 115 pages in. This, this is something. This is something else. It is really depressing at first, but it is really, really enjoyable. I kind of get the Harry Potter-ish type feel to it. Not the story itself, but the treatment of Harry Potter in the first book. Um, Nate, the main character, he is he goes through some shit. He goes through some shit. Um, it's really, really good so far, though, and I will have this finished this month, and I'm very, very excited for it. So yes, that is all the books that I read this month. I know, kind of the type month, um, but April will be a better month. And in fact, I after I film this, I'm actually going to be filling an April TBR because for the first time ever, I have exactly which books I'm going to read for the month of April planned out. So um, stay tuned for that. But other than that, thank you guys so much for commenting, liking, subscribing, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.